Today we're checking out the 8080 from ALP Guitars. This is a travel guitar that can also be folded up and stored away for easy transport. How cool is this? And it's right-handed and I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna need Dr. Rick's help for this one. Rick, let's see how it sounds. Here's this headstockless 8080 electric guitar from ALP up close. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can just simply flip up this and that extends the body portion of it as well as there's a push button under here, which you can push to lower this particular section like that. And then it'll lock in place and to release it, you simply push the button again and that releases it back and it won't move while it's like that, which is pretty cool. So we have three pickups. Now we've got two single coils. The neck pickup is a single coil which has a warmer tone. The middle pickup is a single coil which, but has a brighter tone. So they are voiced differently. And this is a humbucking pickup. Taking a look at the rest of the controls on the guitar, we get a five-way toggle switch. So you get every main position, one, two, and three on their own, or a combination of these two or these two. So very reminiscent of a Strat. Now we get three controls down here as well. These pots control different things. So this first one is a master volume control. It is a little bit hard to get to if you've got the switch in the bridge position. So just a heads up on these, these controls are quite small. You tend to get your finger kind of caught in there a little bit, but overall it's pretty cool. We get a tone control here and this one, see how the light just came on? That's because this is also an audio interface with a headphone socket on the bottom. So you can use this to record to your computer. It also works with headphones and there's a USB slot over there. Over there. So one of the cool things about this instrument is the fact you get up to eight hours of rechargeable battery time on every charge. That's pretty wild. I'm not sure if you can actually replace the battery or not. I haven't looked into that, but overall it's kind of heavy for its size too, which is interesting. It's probably because there's a lot of metal on this guitar. But if you're looking for something very different, small and compact that comes in a really great gig bag, this is a really great choice. I'll show you the gig bag. All right, so let's take a look at this gig bag. As you can see, it's tiny. I've got the actual guitar in there right now as well. The gig bag is really high quality. It was actually quite shockingly great when it turned up. It was, we were both pretty shocked at just how plush the inside of this gig bag actually is. It's up there with some of the best ones. And it's also got a little neck holder here that you can Velcro in place, which I really like. And down the bottom too, you've got some protection here from the bridge section of the guitar to stop it from scratching up the case. That's pretty awesome as well. A massive thanks to ALP Guitars for sending this out. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about it, links to their website will be in the description below. And yeah, I'm going to leave this video up to Dr. Rick because I can't play right-handed. <laughs> Here we go.
Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. So let us know what you think of the tone, the look, and the design of this guitar. I know it's something very different for my channel, but you know what? It's all about trying things that sort of catch our eye, and this was definitely something very, very different. I love the fact you can just fold it down nice and easily, or fold it out nice and easily, and that this particular part on the bottom is locked in with a button. I think that's pretty good. Maybe Rick's biggest criticism of this was just the fact that it was hard to get to the volume control when you're in bridge position. It's just so close. Your finger doesn't actually fit between the gap. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It's just one small, uh, I guess, compromise with a body this small. So it is a very small body. The neck feels fine to play from what I understand as well. So yeah, it's a very different guitar. Now, one other thing we noticed as well is when we were recording really loudly in the room, there was some oscillation from the springs in the back. We just packed it with a bit of packing foam and we were good to go. So we did that on the back here in the cavity. But with that aside, man, they sound pretty cool. And another friend of mine, Kafir, did a video with one of these as well. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the cards and you can check out his channel. And links to this will be in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I know this is something completely different and it will only appeal to a handful of regulars at least anyway. But let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. I like something a little bit different. Now, I also did a review of one that looks a little bit uh, more normal, maybe from Leaf Guitars, which is another section of ALP Guitars. If you missed that video, link will be up here as well. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.